Hello, welcome to the Maya Octane version 2 tutorial series. Uh, this is an updated tutorial series on Octane for Maya. We'll be going through the basics to hair, to displacement maps, to render passes. Here we're going to set up a simple scene using um, all uh, the uh, the default materials, um, image based textures, um, basic lining and environments. So once you have successfully installed the latest version for Octane to Maya, please go to your Windows, General uh, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, and check Octane. Once you've done that, go to the Render Settings button, go to your Octane Live account, and press your put your password in, in and turn your CUDA devices on. So the first thing we're going to do is to set up the um, the interface. So in order to do that. Go to Panels, uh, Layouts, and go to Three Planes, Split, Left. Now here we'll be loading uh, Render Preview, Camera 1, and this will be our Hyper Shade Editor. Once you have everything sorted, um, it looks a bit cramped, but you'll get used to it. Um, we are going to set up our environment first. So first let's just go to IPR, go to Camera 1. Um, as you can see, this is the default render. It's all ambient. That's ex uh, that's what we expected. Um, in the layers, I want you to turn the window off, refresh, and we're going to work on our environments. So uh, go to the Octane tab, which is um, put there when it's installed. You have the Environments button. Uh, first, let's click the Environments button, and it spawns in a graphic that um, controls the atmosphere. Now the options for this is in the attribute editor on the side and it here has its respected um, buttons. So we are going to use the sun sky along with a sky texture. So you go from texture environment to daylight environment. And as you can see it is real time results. Now, since we want to incorporate light in uh, mesh based lighting into our scene, we're going to go to a dusk sort of look, a feel to it. Have the light casting down, and here you can change the color sky settings. So let's change the sunlight color to a purple blue haze. It will match our image that I have put on, and the sky color will be a much more darker nighttime feel. It won't really matter. But uh, since we're going to load our sky texture, which I've packed in. Now, for your sky texture, click this button here and load to the Octane Image Texture file. From there, we're going to load our image up. Now, in order for us to have proper control, we're going to go to Projections in the Octane Image Texture 1. And we're going to go to Spherical Projection. From the spherical projection, we're going to add a, with an octane rotation, we're going to rotate it just so we can see the, <coughs> the horizon a bit. Now that we have our environment sorted, we can now work on the textures. Now there are two ways we can do this. We can do it in a hyper shade, or we can do it <coughs> by right clicking and doing it on the side here. So let's start with the wall. So highlight the wall texture, as you can see here. Uh, we're going to right click, assign material. Here in the materials you have the Octane preset. Go to Octane materials and type in diffuse. The options appear on the right and you can change its respective colors. Uh, don't forget to refresh the viewport. Once that is done, um, we're going to start with a light texture. Now, as you can see, there is a bit of a mesh shape in the lamp. Select that, right click, assign material. We're going to go to diffuse. Then from diffuse, we're going to go down to the emissions. From the emission, we're going to click on the checkered button and click textured emission. And let's put that down to 100. Very simple so far. We are now going to add a glossy image texture that uses color, normal, and specular mapping to the material. We'll be putting it onto the desk. So type in glossy 
we're going to call it desk, enter, and we are going to, in the uh, material section icon, we're going to go to graph network, right click and graph network, and we're going to add in image, octane image texture. We're going to add two of these, so control D, so we have the desk and two images. We're also going to click the octane float image. This is going to be for the specular mapping. So let's, so once you've clicked the image, middle click over the texture, go to other, and press out text with diffuse. These two join, making whatever color we have on this texture, putting it to the diffuse. And here we will put the color texture on. Now before we do that, we have to assign the texture to the material. We're going to right click on the image, go to assign existing, and go to desk refresh, and the texture is now added on. Um, however, the UV wrapping needs to be stretched out a bit. Just fix that up. We're going to click on the texture, middle drag onto the material, go to other, go to out text, and this time go to normal. From the normal, we're going to add a normal mapping uh, of the tech of the of the texture in the options here we can change the power to one now with the other one again middle drag other go to out text and this time go to specular then load up the specular image so therefore any specular we see it will be changed so now we have a fully dynamic textured desk with color, normal, and specular. Now we're going to add the diffu the uh, glossy materials to replace the colored Lego bricks. This should be very straightforward. So let's get a glossy material. And we're going to graph network that. And we're going to call this white brick. Now we're going to get a new glossy and we're going to replace each of the color we see so this will be green change this to a green color um, at the swatch now once you've added all the colors that you see here so add specular type in specular get an octane specular material call this glass uh, for the glass, we're going to add it to the windshield of the tr Lego truck. So put the reflection up, transmission up. We're going to go down and punch in fake shadows and add a little bit of dispersion. And we're going to add that to the Lego. So replace the current Fong 15 with the by with the new glass. My the best trick is to highlight it, press select objects with this material, and then go straight away to material and uh, go to assign material to selected. Now do this for each of the colored fongs with your colored uh, octane materials. Uh, press six. Um, to view all the textures. So once you have converted all the current existing fongs to the glossies, uh, then we can move on to the window. So turn the window layer on, um, and now we want to have a wooden texture, which is currently uh, replaced with a red one. So we want to add a glossy. So file add all of the colors in. So you select objects with material and then assign material to selection. Now select the glass 
We're then going to get a glass material. We're going to put the reflection and the transmission up. We're going to click on fake shadows and put the opacity down just a tad. Um, we're going to find the glass, which I just did. Um, and we're going to do the same process, assign to selection. And let's view that in the rendering. So as you can see, we can see the desk, the glossy Lego brick, the um, wooden window, along with the glossy texture with the with our sky dusk outside. Um, and you can even make some corrections to the environment to make it a lot more uh, better. I hope this gives you a good of a basic rundown of the emissions, textures, basic textures, image-based texturing and lighting and setting up the environments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.